Hello everybody, this is Code J. Today I will show you how to use the select, where, and limit clauses to select and filter data in MySQL. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. To query data from a MySQL table, we need the select statement. For example, select from product, which means get all the data in a table product. The asterisk sign represents all the available table columns. Product is the name of the table. It returns back all four columns and 1k rows in a table product. If we want to query specific columns, we can replace the asterisk sign with a specific column name, for example, ID. It returns the column ID and all the 1k rows. To add more column names separated by a comma, we can query multiple columns, for example, ID, price, and stock. Apart from querying the column value itself, we can apply some functions to it. For example, the function count returns the number of rows in the table. We can put any column name in the table or the asterisk sign as the function parameter. It returns that we have 1,000 rows in a table product. Of course, we can apply different functions for different columns based on our needs. For example, apart from counting the number of the rows, we want to know the average price of the product. We can add a comma, then apply the function average to the column price. In the output, we got both results returned. There are many useful built-in functions in MySQL. I have left the link to the reference in the description. You can check it out and get what you need. You might notice that the column name of the returned table is the function call. We can simply create an allies by using the command s. For example, rename counts ID as num product, average price as average price. We can see the column names in the result table are the allies. Sometimes we want to filter the table rows. For that, we can use the WHERE clause. It filters the table row based on the Boolean result of the conditions followed by the WHERE clause. For example, SELECT from PRODUCT WHERE TRUE returns all the rows, while SELECT from PRODUCT WHERE FALSE returns nothing. Instead of plain TRUE or FALSE, we can set various conditions based on the column values to filter meaningful results. For instance, we can query the product whose ID is less than or equal to 5 by adding the WHERE condition ID is less than or equal to 5. We can combine multiple conditions using the logical operators AND OR. For example, by adding AND stock large than 400 we filter the table rows based on columns ID and stock. Only rows that have ID smaller than or equal to 5 and stock is larger than 400 are returned. Using the logical operator OR, we can filter rows that have ID smaller than or equal to 5 or stock less than 3. We can rewrite the condition stock smaller than 3 using the function IN. For instance, in parentheses 0, 1, 2, separated by a comma. All the rows with stock equal to any value in the list will be filtered out. We can also use the function between and, for example, filter rows with ID between 1 and 7. These functions or operators are very useful for numerical columns, while for columns with the string type, sometimes it may not be suitable. For example, column product name is with type string. Of course, we can use the equal operator to filter a specific product, but we can also use the function like to filter based on the patterns of the string values. For example, name like pasta percentage sign means filter all the rows with the name starting with pasta Percentage sign represents any kind of character with any length. It returns all the pasta products in a table which has 19 in total. The like function gives us a lot of flexibility to query different patterns. 
Let's say we want to field all the fresh pasta. We can use the pattern pasta percentage sign fresh percentage sign to field all the rows with product names starting with pasta and containing characters fresh. In the results, we have two fresh pasta products. We can also use logical operators to combine multiple patterns. For example, we combine patterns name not like pasta percentage sign fresh percentage sign and name like pasta percentage sign using logic and to select all the not fresh pasta products. In the results, we see all the pasta products except the ones containing fresh in their name. Sometimes we might only want to see the first n results. In this case, we can use the limit clause. For example, adding limit 1 returns the first row of all the eligible rows. Change 1 to 10, we can see the first 10 eligible rows have been returned. Apart from like, there are many other ways to compare string columns. You can find the link to this string comparison functions and operator reference in the description. Check this out to build conditions that fit your need. That's it! You have learned how to use the SELECT, WHERE, and LIMIT clauses to select and filter data in MySQL. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. Feel free to share what SQL topic you want me to cover in the comment section. I will talk to you at the next one. Bye-bye.